Hi guys, it's uh, Thursday afternoon and I've been doing a bit more work on the bike. Um, it's nearly complete, as in almost in rideable condition. Obviously I've got all the accessories to put on, you know. Lights, kickstand, change the seat, put that tube in the front wheel because the one in it is knackered. Uh, front mudguard, front reflector. There's no point doing the rear reflector because that's going to be an all-in-one lamp that I get from Roy's next week, I hope. Uh, a couple of seat clamps for the seat that I want to put on it. Which is buried here. Oh, there's the saddle. Uh, I don't know which clamp is going to work better on this. Yeah, yeah, gears. I've set the gears up, did that earlier. That's a piece of cake to do. Uh, rear brake is working good enough at the moment. That front one, this side, um, isn't springing as it should. And I've adjusted all the um, spring tension screws and it's still not working. So I have to take that apart and investigate. I can't find my freaking tripod for this camera. Because this is my third attempt, because I keep covering up the piss and microphone. It's no good covering up the microphone, because then you won't hear me. I had to go at building that last night, but it is largely incomplete. Well, actually not largely incomplete, it's just incomplete. So I'm going to keep my eyes open on eBay for another one of those. Complete or incomplete doesn't matter and then hopefully you know even if I get an incomplete one hopefully I can put it to this one and complete it because I actually have to say for a non-lego brand that is clipping together and holding together really really well right what have I done with that poxy tripod oh, I don't bloody know so I'm just gonna stand you here for now no I'm not because the camera tilted forwards Right, that'll do for now. Black one, silver one. Eeny, meeny, miny. I'm going to go for the black one because it's a black seat. Uh, so that's got to go on there. Undo one nut, hopefully. Remove that. This is where I find the poxy clamp won't fit. <laughs> it's not going to fit like that anyway. Right. It's going to be a... Ha! There we go. It's on. Ooh, that actually went on a lot easier than I've had them go on in the past. Slot all that together. Stick a bloody nut on this side. Nope. I need a bit more bar spare. Ha! That's right. There. Simple as that. That's already a bolt on there. Right, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the afternoon. Apart from changing that tube and putting this on, I might start throwing the accessories on. Fixed the button on that lamp, piled up a bunch of hot glue underneath the switch, and I noticed on the switch there was two metal tabs that were meant to be there for like anchors to stop it moving, but I don't think they were installed properly at the factory because they weren't bent over or anything. So I bent those over and that helped, so it's actually got two methods now holding that switch in place. So, it shouldn't fall through when I press on the button. Because that's what it was doing. I was pressing on the button and eventually the switch would just bend away from the rubber cover there and I'd end up pushing the rubber button in trying to find the bloody switch. Right. I'm kind of sort of looking forward to getting this up and running now. Uh, do I do the rack first? Because it's going to be fiddliest thing to do because I've got to swap these brackets out and about that height 
I could change the rack completely again, but I'm going to put a nice black rack on it. Right. Uh, I've got some stuff I'm going to donate to charity as well. Such as that computer system, because I've got a spare one under the Lego table, so... Oh, excuse me. I don't need that one. Don't need that aerial reel. Again, it's too good to chuck, so I'm... I know what charity I can donate them to. Uh, I think there's something else down there. Oh yeah, that big cuddly bear. I'm going to donate that as well. Because I won him on that tombola. But, uh, I don't have a use for him. Winston. Is that his name or is that the company name? Eee. Looks to be holding air anyway. More than can be said for the one that's already in there. It won't even pump air into the tube. There's just nothing going in for some reason. I don't know if the valve is gone. But well, either way, I'm going to change it. It's a five minute job. Right. That's a weird backup tone. It really does sound weird. Right. Hmm. Uh, I'm having one of them days where I'm just frequently visiting the loo to take a pee. Usually a sign that your blood sugars are too high. Here's the thing. I only had plain toast for breakfast. And a smidgen of ice cream. Actually, less ice cream than I had. Yes, in fact, I had a lot more of a sugar intake yesterday. And I wasn't going to and from the bloody toilet yet today. You know, I'd make a fiddler's elbow look stationary. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to disappear for a little while and... Uh, get some things done. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Righty ho then. I'm going to go and put some chicken nuggets on. No I'm not. I'm going to go and turn the grill on first to heat up. I might just throw some food in Bonzo's dish as well. Or not because he's got some in there. Hey. You can't even hold the button down because it doesn't work like that. You've got to keep pressing it. Right. I'll put a rubbish bag in my bin. Progress on the Peugeot. Well, it may not look like I've done a lot, but... Um, I actually have. I've got the rack on, as you can see. I've got the stand on, which I might change, because it is crappy. Um, but I think the biggest change is I've got these on. Yeah, uh, the brakes just were not working out with the brake levers on the other ones, which are laying on the bed there somewhere. So I did get that side to work. It was just... A little part of the mechanism that's meant to sort of flick back and forth um, and lock into teeth in there on a, like a wheel that turns it around and pulls the cable up through. That was just sticking. So I just literally sprayed it with some WD-40 and gave it a bit of an oil and uh, yeah, it's working like a treat now. So gears are all working, brakes, I've got a bit of rub on the back wheel. Um, but they feel much, much better anyway, so it's pretty much done. It's rideable. I've changed the seat on it as well. Uh, I would have probably got the front mudguard on it and reflector and whatnot and other trinkets if I didn't decide to change the um, shifters over. Yeah. 
Yeah. I want to put that pump on. Why is it the screen on this camera only flickers when I'm in here? I don't actually know if that's coming up on the footage. I didn't check it yesterday. It's not the lights. Because I can see it when I look at the wall here. But not when I do that. But if I turn the lights on in here, I can see it. So there's something else around here that must be... Oh no, the screen is doing it. It's just not as visible in the lounge for some reason. Yeah. Oh well. Right. Uh, put myself some grub up. I made myself a new hook up for this because I lost the other one. It's just got a paper clip in there. Otherwise the boom drops. Even though I keep all the valves in the closed position, this boom, because of the weight of this, it will just and drop down. And it's annoying more than anything. But then again, that is why, if anyone has ever noticed on uh, real diggers, they don't park them with the booms up. They put the booms, or they rest the booms down on the ground. Uh, same with the front loaders because otherwise overnight they can just sink and sometimes they don't slowly sink sometimes they'll come down fast so that's why they don't store them with things up in the air unless it's got a catch on it some of the some diggers will have a catch on them same with the outriggers there might be a bar, you know, that goes across just to stop them dropping. I've never seen this style of outrigger on a digger over here. Not around it in my area, anyway. The ones I've seen just go straight down. Not fold out like these ones. I don't know if that's just... I just haven't seen it, or... Actually, that's probably more than likely. <sighs> oh, I got a phone call from Mum this afternoon, just to see how I was. Uh, she should have her phone and internet on tomorrow. Uh, and she's picking me up Saturday because stepdad's got a hospital appointment tomorrow. So it can't be tomorrow. And she hasn't picked me up this week because... The car had no MOT. It was out of MOT last Saturday. Saturday just gone. It ran out. But stepdad took it in today and it passed with flying colours. And that's a 19... I can't remember if it's a 1998 or a 1999 Toyota RAV4. And apparently the guy at the garage that did the MOT said it's one of the best examples he's ever seen of a car that age. <laughs> it is. It's really... There's no rust at all. It's absolutely rust-free. Not even any surface rust. I have got to top the engine up with some oil. That is getting a bit low. I keep forgetting to get the bottle out of my shed. Um, but yeah, it runs sweet as a nut. Touch wood. <laughs> it's a bit thirsty because it is a two litre four cylinder petrol so it is a little bit thirsty on the old gas but to me I don't like it because I'm not keen on the, its looks but I do love it <laughs> if that makes sense you know the sort of, it's the arse end I'm not keen on it's so wide um, the whole thing is wide, it's short and wide, but it is a damn good car, it's been a damn good workhorse as well. So uh, I actually have to say, I think, for reliability and whatnot, I would have to go for Japanese. 
we've had a number of older Japanese cars and they've all been bloody good cars. Mum had an old 1996 Toyota Carina about 10 years ago I think she had that so it would have been about 10 years old when she had it um, excellent motor for its age it's a shame that got writ written off in a head on crash but never mind <laughs> as they say shit happens and that was a rare model that was the CDX as well they do the CD which is a more common trim model but apparently the CDX was the rarest. It's even rarer now because there's one less. <laughs> uh, what else other Japanese cars has she had? The Mitsubishi Pinin. That was a great 4x4. It just had that electrical problem. That was the only thing that was wrong with it. That rear fog light. Which, if we really wanted to, we could have gotten around that anyway. Because I could have just... Um, wired in another one if I had to or rerouted some wires to that one and a new switch you know just to bypass the old circuit sort of thing so but uh, no they decided to sell that one uh, the only oh what was it a Nissan Almira Tino was it a Tino something like that that was another good one I think mum just got bored with that one and sold that one um, there's another Mitsubishi she had, um, which was another great car, except the gearbox went. <laughs> Not long actually after buying it from the dealer, but they did part exchange it. Um, when she eventually managed to drive the damn thing to the dealer. <laughs> I had no first gear. Barely had reverse gear, and I think... There's one other gear that was going as well. I think second was on its way. They were all on the way out. Just gradually. Which is a shame. Because uh, I did actually uh, like that Mitsubishi. But. I could be classed as biased. Because I do like Mitsubishi motors. I do like Fords, I do like Vauxhalls, and I'm not biased, I'm not one of these types that will just like one type of car. I'm not keen on French cars, especially Peugeots, I really do not like Peugeots. If I was going to have a French car, it would either be a Renault or a Citroën. Peugeot, Peugeot, Peugeots to me are just horrible bags of shit. Really don't like them. I know several people who have had them and they have all been bags of shit, basically. Uh, not really fond of German cars either, to be honest. There's nothing wrong with them, you know. It's just, they're not me. I think I am just a, a Japanese car man myself. And actually, if I was going to go for a German car, it would probably be a Mercedes or a Volkswagen. One of those. I'm not keen on BMWs, unless it's a classic. I don't mind the classics. Good old classic BM. Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm not really keen on modern BMWs. What was I doing? Washing a plate up, that's what I wanted to do. I had to change the um, front V brakes because. Because. Uh, uh, I believe it was the left side wasn't springing properly because. Uh, I had to find a spring because it was missing and it just wasn't working right and I can't find a spring to replace it so I just replaced the whole lot. So that box can actually go up on the shelf. Do I need a fork? No, fingers were invented before forks. Ugh. 
Right, so I've got another day at home. I might tackle this lounge and just have a tidy up in here. Looks worse than it is. You know, by the time I clear these bottles and other rubbish out of the way and these bags and whatnot, and put the uh, decorations box up in the cupboard and whatnot, it's not going to look too bad through. I've got a bag of rubbish there as it is. Uh, laptop. I've got a photo on here of um, the Xbox 360. I've just got to put the laptop screws back in the case of this and that bit of trim on, which is over here. So, I'll take a photo of that. So I just can't be bothered with it. And that one's definitely going up at £15 by now, or best offer. No one's made me an offer on the Fujitsu again, and he didn't make a counter offer, so... <laughs> I think he was just being a cheapskate or trying his luck. His luck wasn't with him. Because <laughs> I'm not accepting £6 for that. That's worth more than that. You stick a keyboard in it, which is what I was going to do. You could easily upgrade it to Windows 7. It'll be a little on the slow side, but it would work. And it'll be great for just general browsing. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh, pardon me. Right, I'm just going to have a quick check on my emails just to make sure I haven't had any more offers. No, nothing. Nope. Absolutely fuck all. Right. So I'm better end the video, I think, because I'm not doing much else. In fact, I could probably have a little bit of a clean up now while my nuggets are cooking. Yeah, I'm, I think I'll do that. I think I've got some dirty laundry kicking around in here as well. I know I've got a t shirt laying up there somewhere. Right. Thanks a lot for watching. I can't find my tripod, so I've got to make sure I don't put my fingers over the bloody microphone. Because I've not heard it, but I expect it would sort of sound a bit like this. <laughs> Which is why, if I do it, I start again. Anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot I bought that. I've got a Lego annual for this year on that table over there and I completely forgot I bought it. It's just been buried under shit. Ah uh, well, I suppose I should uh, disappear and get a photo of that laptop. I think it's got... I think it was on Windows 7. Yeah, it was. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Not a lot if I clear up this rubbish that's lying around here <laughs> so there won't be much else to do and that's why I just bolt the accessories to the bike and the lights and take that for a test ride that's about it <laughs> nothing else to do it's getting a little bit too close to Christmas now to bother selling bikes and whatnot so uh, anyway I shall talk to you at some point tomorrow. Bye bye. Find the button. There's the button. Bye.